So Clathrus, it's in the, the fungal family that we call the Phalaceae. They're the stink horns. They're named after the genus Phallus. It's called that because it has a striking anatomical uh, resemblance. However, this one looks more like a squid, and this whole family produced these really unusual fruiting bodies that look like everything from a starfish to a sea anemone to a geodesic football covered in slime that's bright yellow. So we have these uh, phalaceae fungi in the UK. So we have the genus Phallus here, uh, the stinkhorn. Um, this particular one, these clathrus, these come from Australia and New Zealand, um, and they've been introduced into the UK possibly in wood chip or possibly in compost or the soil around plants that are being moved and transported for horticulture and display and what have you. There is a theory that Clathrus archeroi was introduced from New Zealand in World War I uh, when they were importing shipments of wool to make uh, uniforms and other supplies for the war. So we know that things like flowers use colour as an attractant for pollinating insects. So in this case it may be that the colour red also helps with attracting insects along with the smell that they produce. But colouring fungi is a weird one because most fungi don't in any way rely on insects as pollinators. So then there's no obvious reason why mushrooms may be all sorts of different colours. And they come in every colour you can conceivably imagine. So it's one of those sort of additional mysterious things about fungi that we don't yet know about. Um, generally with fungi, uh, they like quite damp, wet, uh, cool conditions. Uh, and that's what... Um, kind of causes them to, to go into fruiting mode, to create these fruiting bodies. So we, we do collect fungi from the gardens, and we do store them in the fungarium. Some people collect an awful lot constantly. <laughs> um, funnily enough, uh, one of these Clathrus archeri from the bamboo here was one of the first things I collected that got incorporated into the fungarium when I started in 2015.